Mmm, that's nice. Hi, this is Janet from Manhattan Edit Workshop, and I would like to show you how to use the two-point tracker in Avid Media Composer. Here I have two runners running across my screen, and I would like to obscure the identity of this red-shirted runner right here. So I'm going to drop my blur effect right on my clip, and I'm going to use the ellipse shape to create a blur right on his head. I can adjust the blur amount. We'll bring it down a little bit, and we'll also add a little feathering. Great, and great. Now, not only do I need the shape to track my runner, um, I also need the shape to get a little bit bigger and smaller across my screen because as the runner gets closer to the middle of the screen, his head is a little bigger compared to when he's further away. So I need my shape to track and I also need it to change size. So in order to do that, I need two points in my tracker. Opening my tracker tool, it gives me one point. I can go ahead and position that. I'm going to look for an area of high contrast on the edge of the runner's head. Perfect. And I can go ahead and track forward, keeping an eye, making sure the tracker actually sticks with the runner. Once that is done, I can go ahead and open up another tracking uh, tracker right on my uh, tracking window. So there we go, there's another, and I can hide my first tracker, so that will make it a little bit easier to position my second tracker. Again, making the search region and the target region a little smaller, and we'll go ahead and track forward again. Again, making sure that it stays with the runner. Very good. Now I'm going to check the effects results making sure in my effects editor that the tracker is actually turned on, both tracker point A and point B. And when I play forward, you can see that not only is the blur shape following the runner, but it's also getting smaller and bigger as the runner runs across the screen. This is Janet from Manhattan Workshop. Thanks for listening.